Howdy friends, after you record a Google Meet session, one of the things that you may want to consider is being able to add some edits to it. And so one thing that is free and available is the ability to use the Screencastify editor. So here I received an email from Google stating that my recording is finished and I can open it and drive and do the same thing or I can just open it right here. Either way, it's going to be in my Meet Recordings folder. And if I want to edit it, I can click on the open with as long as I have Screencastify installed and I use it, this will show up. So I'll hit Screencastify video editor. It'll take me straight to the editor, not to the ability to use Screencastify. So you have to give it a few moments for it to load up. And then once it finally loads, it'll be automatically placed in your timeline down here so you can start editing. Over here on the left hand side are all your editing tools. Here is your play button. And then here is the ability to minimize or stretch out the timeline. So that way you can maybe get a little finer or you can see a little more of the entire workspace. That's what that's really for. It's not for zooming in on the video. This actually causes some confusion. If you want to zoom in on video, there is a tool for that. And we'll get to that in a second. Before I get rolling here, one thing I should also mention is that if you have multiple video clips, you can actually add clips using the plus sign over here, and you can select them from your Google Drive, or if you have them on your computer, you can upload them. But if I were to select Google Drive, it would pull up my Google Drive folders, and then I could go find the video that I need. In fact, you can even specify videos that are in Drive if you want to just see all your videos that are available. I don't want to add any clips right now, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to get to the editing portion. The first thing you'll notice is that if I click off of it, these tools are grayed out. But if I click on the video and actually select it, then I can start editing. So let's say you have a little blip at the beginning you don't want. You could actually move the white bar to the location that you require it. And then when you are ready to make a cut, you got to make sure it's yellow around it and you hit the scissors. The other way you could do it is just play it to the point where you want it to go. And then you can hit the scissors from there. And then what it'll do is it'll trim it just right there in that location. Whichever piece you want to remove, you can click on it and you can hit the trash can or the delete button on your keyboard. Or if you're using a Chromebook, it would be just the backspace. So now that I've done that, I can remove that clip. You can also remove clips in the middle of a recording. You would just cut at the beginning of it and then play pause at the point you want to stop and hit the scissors again, then you would have a small clip that you can remove from there. What's nice about this editor is that it'll automatically pull your video clips together. There's no need to click and drag and move them together. Another nice feature is the ability to crop. I actually don't use this one a whole lot. What you would use this for is like, for example, if I want to crop the size of the video, to match a specific size. Let's say I only want to focus in on this part of the video and not the entire screen. Then I can use that crop feature and it will use it just for that clip. You have to be careful when doing that because if you've made cuts, it won't match the rest of your video. So now if I go over here and I hit play, then what ends up happening is that part isn't cut off, but then this one is. So that's how you would use crop. You also have a zoom tool, which is different than cropping because then you can pick specific parts and it has an animation to it. So when I click on the zoom tool, I can pick a specific part that I want to zoom in on. I can change the size of it and move it around using the middle icons there. And then I can go down here and select how long I want the zoom to last. So if I hit play, then what happens is it's going to zoom in just on that part. And then when it gets to the end of it, then it will zoom back out. And again, I can adjust the length of time at which it's zoomed throughout the whole video clip. If I need to make slight adjustments as to where it's located, I can then click and drag it to that specific location using the middle icon. If I'm having trouble refining, this is where that zoom tool is really handy as far as stretching out your video clips, not actually zooming in on the video clip. So then I can stretch this out however I prefer. A last tool I'll talk about is the text tool. So when I use this one, it allows me to add text wherever I want to. It is not super robust, and I actually like that, that it is a simple text editor. So if I want to adjust 
the font style. I can adjust the color and the background color of the text. I can change the font style here. There's not a whole lot to choose from. I actually prefer that. You can change the size slightly. Nothing drastic here. Pretty simple to use. And you can change the location, but you're limited. You can't just click and drag where you want to put it. So you can left align it, you can center it, and you can right align it. And same with the vertical aligning. With the vertical, you just have top, middle, and bottom. So I'll use bottom here. And now it has the text in there, simple text editor, and it'll pop up and it'll only be for that span of the video. If I need to stretch it out and make it longer, I can use the six dots just like you do with the zoom tool and you can stretch it out accordingly. When I'm all done, I will hit export and I will use export to Google Drive. Export to MP4 would save it to my computer but I'm gonna use export to Google Drive. It'll go to my Screencastify folder. After a while, it'll process. Again, it'll go to my Screencastify folders, just like my other recordings. And it'll also give me the option to view it from here. Once it's all done, it'll say view, but I can also view it using Screencastify itself and clicking on my recordings, and it'll reside right there. Now that the video is done, if I click on view, it'll take me to the typical Screencastify screen that shows when I've completed a video. It'll launch the app, so that way I can share it to my favorite places to export to. So I have the option to send in an email, publish to YouTube. I can go down here, generate a QR code, use the share to classroom icon. Lots of different options here. And I can also make sure that it is shareable by clicking on the copy link button there. So that way I can share it out however I wish. Okay, so that is a quick flyby on how you can utilize the Screencastify editor, even with your Google Meet recordings, if you need to trim pieces off here and there. It's a handy tool, and I hope this was beneficial.